Peace and positivity, family. I hope you're feeling good because you deserve it. Now, listen, y'all. Um, today's video, I want to talk about the true meaning of anxiety. And this is from my perspective and also it's facts as well. But because I've dealt with anxiety and depression um, and from 2020 up until like the beginning of 2021. So that that's probably around like six, seven months, almost a year that I was depressed and dealing with anxiety. Um, I did a lot of research on what anxiety really is and depression. I've read all these different books and going through my whole anxiety phase, I can say that I finally really know truly what it is, what it does to the body, and how you can kind of understand what it really is so you can, uh, I guess, defeat it or stop it before it comes or just kind of understand a little bit more about it. Because when I was going through it, I really didn't know much about it. I knew people had anxiety, but never really paid it no mind until I went through it. And um, now I kind of just want to, you know, help other people. Um, I've made a lot of other videos on anxiety and what I've been through and all those things. So if y'all want, make sure y'all go and look at all my other videos where I do talk about my anxiety. So... Let's just jump right into the video. Before I get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video because it can help somebody else. Like I said, when I was going through it, I turned on my camera and just started talking about my anxiety because it was one of the ways for me to not only help others, but help myself because it was good that I was talking about it. And then seeing that other people was dealing with what I was dealing with kind of really helped and knowing that I wasn't going crazy and that everything that I was feeling was very real. So let's talk about what Google says anxiety is because pretty much um, Google pretty much put it like this, right? A feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease, typically about an imminent event or something with a uncertain outcome. Um, also it can be described as a nervous disorder characterized by a state of excessive uneasiness and apprehension, typically with compulsive behavior or panic attacks. So you could go online and, and if you're going through anxiety and if you was a person going through anxiety or are going through anxiety, there are different type of anxieties. There's like social anxiety and, you know, where people can't be around a large crowd. There's health anxiety. I didn't even know there was different type of anxieties. For me, at the end of the day, it all boils down to your nervous system. So what I've learned, because I've dealt with so many different symptoms from anxiety, I learned that everything stemmed from the nervous system. So... You have two brains, your, your brain up here and then your gut, your gut, they call it your second brain, but it's really your first brain because your colon and all your organs, everything in your stomach sends signals up to your brain. So it's like your nervous system is very, very important. So pretty much to me, anxiety is, it is a nervous disorder. And when they say that, the nervous system is attacked because you're at you're un, you're unease you're at you're uneasy pretty much you 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 you're in flight or fight meaning your body is sensing that something is going on they don't know really what's going on but they're going to fight off whatever is going on in your body so your nerves start you know signaling signal signaling to your brain, to your stomach, and then everything just start going out of whack. That's where headaches come from. That's why you get pains in your stomach. 
This is why you get joint pain. This is why you go through all these, these physical pain symptoms is because your nervous system is out of whack. It's trying to figure out how to fight off whatever you feel that is going to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you go to an amusement park, right? And you nervous already, but you didn't even get to the amusement park yet. But you nervous. So you like, man, you know, you, you your hands get a little, you know, moist and get a little sweaty. You start, your heart start beating and you start feeling like you woozy and you like, oh man, you didn't even get on the ride yet. You didn't even get there yet. You don't even know what is going to occur. Or like you kind of know what's going to occur because you're going to get on rides and stuff. But you still don't know exactly what to expect. So you're you're feeling very like anxious and uneasy. And that's like also you go to the doctor and you go get a checkup. And you know how sometimes you go to the doctor and you start to, to get a little worried and a little anxious. And you start feeling you know, fearing things that you, that, that hasn't even come to light yet. So normally, like, for example, like you go to the doctor, get your blood pressure check, right? And people always say that when you go to the doctor and you get your blood pressure check, your blood pressure is always a little higher than what it normally is because you're, you're just nervous because you just in an area where you just feel uneasy. You just don't know what's next. And you just like, you very anxious. So that's where anxiety stems from. It's kind of like you're worried all the time. You're overthinking. You're feeling like something's going to happen that didn't happen yet. You're you're in fear of the outcome, but you don't know what the outcome is. So your body is kind of trying to assess the situation. It's trying to figure out what is going on so they can so the nervous system can fix it. But sometimes it goes out of whack. And then that's where anxiety comes from. Your heart starts, your heart starts beating. You start feeling queasy, you nauseous, and getting headaches, and you just like, what is going on? It's because your nervous system is out of whack. So that's just pretty much what anxiety for me. That's what anxiety is. It's just a nervous system disorder. Your nervous system is out of whack because you're nervous, you're anxious. So now your brain and your brain and your stomach brain, because remember you got two brains, is, sig is sending out these signals to try to help your body, but instead it's throwing it out of whack. So that's why you get all these different symptoms with anxiety and then you feel like those symptoms are more than what they are. So then you go through this downward spiral because you're feeling like you're, you have something wrong with you. So that's pretty much what it is, y'all. I kind of wanted to just like throw that out there, put it in a nutshell and kind of give you my perspective and let you know how I comprehend what anxiety is because yeah, we could go into is this, is that, is this and that and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it's just your nervous system that that is out of whack. Um, I will go into more detail with different symptoms, the ones that I've experienced and how it correlates with anxiety, even though I thought it was more than that. But when I started to learn more on what anxiety was, I learned that I was causing the symptoms because I was worrying myself I was always anxious because I just didn't know the outcome of certain things. And I was just scared and, and just in a place of worry all the time. So that kind of threw my nervous system for, for a loop because it was like, girl, we trying to figure out why are you feeling this way so we can fight it off for you. And that's the signals you send to your body. So... Um, like I said, I'm going to start doing a lot more videos on this topic because I just feel like it can help a lot of people. And like I said, I've watched so many different, uh, videos on anxiety and just people have so much good things, so much good information out there. Um, and with me, I'm just going to be very transparent. Like I always am and share 
my stories with you guys. I've shared a lot already on this topic, but I feel like I want to kind of just go more into depth and just help more people and just do my part and do what I can to help people understand what anxiety is and that you can get out of it and that you don't need to worry and be anxious, that it will be okay. You have to keep yourself at homeostasis at a peaceful mind state despite what's going on in your everyday life and of course things happen but you have to understand the triggers and what triggers you to go through these anxiety attacks and these panic attacks and why you feeling these symptoms if we get to the root cause of it then you'll be able to work on it and you'll be able to understand that is not something to worry about. It's something that can be fixed. You're not broken. You're not going crazy. You are pretty much worried about things that you don't know why you worried about. You just worry like like tomorrow is Monday. But you like, damn, I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. What's gonna happen tomorrow? Okay, I gotta do this, this and that. I don't know if that's going to make it. Oh, my God. Am I going to be able to do this? This is good. And then you just, then all of a sudden you start getting anxious. You start worrying because you're worrying about tomorrow or next week. And I understand we, we do have to figure things out. We adults. This is life. But you have to live in the present moment. When you live in the present, it brings you more peace. Peace brings your body at ease and you're not uneasy. So we're going to. Find the ways that's going to make you ease at ease and make you feel at peace. And like I said, I've talked about the different things that has helped me get to where I'm at today, a year later, in a peaceful mind state and understanding my triggers and what made me feel anxious, what caused me to have anxiety. Okay, so... Listen, y'all, love is key. Love is you. Love is me. And like I said, I'm going to be sharing more videos on my story. Um, I do have a few more uh, subscribers on here. So I do appreciate the new people that are watching my videos and who are subscribing and liking it. I do appreciate it. So like I said, I am going to start to do more videos like this because when I was going through my anxiety, I was really doing a lot of videos about it. But since I'm out of it and I don't deal with it no more, I can kind of really do more videos to get other people to a point where they can feel at peace and and feel happy and, and feel that joy that they deserve. Because we all deserve to be happy as long as we are good hearted people. We treat other people nice and we treat ourselves nice, especially. So we're going to work through this together. And I love you guys. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video. And we're going to get it together, y'all. Don't you worry. You got this. We strong out here, okay? We don't give up. And we don't let up. I love y'all. Peace.